The voltage recorder is one of the quirkier sketches that I've created. In order to make it work, it's important to understand two things. First, it requires a clock source for both recording and playback. In this case, I'm using a Q106 oscillator as the clock. Secondly, it won't begin recording until it receives a high voltage into the second analog input. In this case, I'm using the gate output of a Q117 sample and hold module, but you could really use anything that can provide a voltage higher than 2.5 volts. To begin this demo, I'm going to hook up the output of a signal processor to the first analog input. This will allow me to manually enter in a voltage stream, and this is the gesture that I'm going to record. Then I'll hit the gate on the Q117, which causes recording to begin. When the recording begins, the first digital output comes on and stays on until the recording is complete. The recording continues until the buffer is filled with 512 samples. You can speed up or slow down recording by varying the clock speed. The module will record one sample every time the clock fires. When recording is complete, the second digital output produces a trigger, and at this point the buffer is full. Playback occurs through the recording process, but you can hear that my gesture was recorded. At this point, we have fun with playback using the two knobs. The first knob determines how far playback jumps with each clock that's received. When set to minimum, it moves one sample at a time. When you make a greater setting, it moves at a much higher rate, up to eight times the normal speed. The second knob controls the length of the sample that is played back. When it's set to the minimum, it provides a single sample loop. And as you increase the setting, the length of the loop changes. As you increase the size of the loop, the amount of repetition that you hear is also different. You can also change the speed of the clock during playback to alter the speed of the playback. Using the voltage recorder is all about experimenting. It can create repeating figures from random source or make a controlled gesture sound insane. Have fun!